Hello from a rather dull Ravenhill at the end of what's been a rather long rugby union season. The Interprovincial Championship, the Five Nations Championship and the All-Ireland League have all come and gone. And here in Ulster, the only issue that remains unresolved is the destination of the First Trust Senior Cup. This year's final brings together both Dungannon and Malone, two sides for whom the number four has particular significance. For the past three years, the Cup has travelled on the M1 to Stevenson Park. A win today would make Dungannon the first side this century to win the trophy four years in a row. Willie Anderson, our director of rugby, started the run of success in 1993. As I said to the boys, there will be internationals and possibly Lions uh, from Dungannon in the future. But uh, they may never have an opportunity to make history, and this today is uh, the day for making history. Malone won the Cup in 1984, won it four years later in 1988, and then won it again in 1992, and hoped to keep that four-year sequence going. Colin Wilkinson, his enthusiasm undiminished, has played in those three victorious Malone teams and is confident of a fourth win today. Ballamina, I believe, won it three years in a row and then Malone won it for, a, for one year and now Dungannon won it three years in a row, so it's, we, we feel it's our turn. Malone's forwards remain unchanged following a win last week against City of Derry. Ireland's Dennis McBride and Ulster colleagues Stuart Duncan and Richard Mackey form the core. There are two changes in the three-quarter line, and they see Scott Carroll coming in on the left wing, with Simon Willis switching to the right, and the experience comes from internationals Wilkinson and Field, and having missed the semi-final, Malone welcome back their dedicated skipper, Bill Harbinson. Dungannon Field decide that Trans Collegians a week ago in the semi-final, and that means a second cup final partnership for halfbacks Richie Weir and Ashley Blair. The strength of the side, though, lies in a formidable pack, with current internationals Paddy Johns and Jeremy Davidson, and interprovincials Jeremy Hastings, Davy Miller and Gary Leslie. And leading the side, as he did two years ago, and playing in his last game at this level, is the Dungannon hooker Hugh McCackey. Refereeing his third senior cup final, Irish international panellist and the primary school headmaster from Green Island, Mr. Brian Sterling. <laughs> Colin Wilkinson, who's played in all of Malone's victories, gets this game off to a somewhat inauspicious start. This is the 97th senior cup final. And Colin Wilkinson's misdirected kick right at the outset has given Dungannon the first advantage, uh, though that may just be psychological. So the first scrummage to the cup holders bidding to become the first side this century to win the Senior Cup four years in a row. Richie Weir, who played last year, and that's a rather untidy scrummage, and uh, Malone have been penalised for collapsing the scrum. Tighthead Lawrence Stewart and hooker Michael Smith, the guilty parties, and Ashley Blair, whose left foot has kept Dungannon in the opposition half for most of the games this season, is going to be asked to do something similar. And indeed, he may well have indicated, and I think he has, that he's going to go for a goal. So what a start this would be for Dungannon. Ashley Blair with 31 cup points so far this season and I don't think that's quite got the legs Wilkinson calls clearly and finds a reasonably effective touch so an early chance for Dungannon missed and uh, obviously at this stage of the game a crack at goal was what Dungannon would have wished for the ball didn't look altogether straight I think Dungannon may well be offered the option of the line-out or the scrummage, and they've taken the scrummage. Johnny Patterson on the open side for Dungannon, that's a quick strike, picked up by Davidson, Dunn is in there as a blocker, Paddy Johns trying to get in tight behind him. This is great forward play by Dungannon, they've retained it, not too far away. Davidson again, now it's Weir to Blair, to Patterson, right underneath the Malone post, and that's a penalty, Malone offside, and surely this will be three points for Dungannon, and we haven't had quite five minutes played. Johnny Patterson, the man who set it up. Well, it was a well-controlled scrummage, and uh, Jeremy Hastings, last year's skipper, supported by Irish international Paddy Johns, Davy Miller in there as well, and Jeremy Davidson taking that forward and he does make so much ground Davidson and he's laid it back and there's Weir and at this point they brought it back inside Johnny Patterson the man with the ball but the Malone back line and got themselves offside well actually Blair with missed with one after two minutes but after five minutes he's been successful and the cup holders have got off to the start they wish for it's Dungannon three and Malone nil Ashley Blair's penalty 
the difference between the sides after just five minutes. Back untidily, and Dungannon have not enjoyed the advantage they hope to have out of touch. Good work by the Malone pack. Up to the Dungannon 22, and a penalty against Dungannon coming in from the wrong side. And Richard Mackey, who is in the middle of things, will be happy enough, and I'm quite sure Colin Wilkinson will go for posts. And Bill Harbinson says that's what we want to do. Not too far away. Colin Wilkinson not wasting any time with this kick. 21 points he's got so far in the cup. He's drawn that in very nicely. Uh, we've had nine minutes gone, and Malone back in level terms. Dungannon three, Malone three, thanks to Colin Wilkinson. Left-footed, he hasn't always been the most accurate of goal kickers, but that was a very important one and well struck. Ashley Blair with the restart. A little bit far for his pack. Murta Ray. Stuart Duncan in there too. Duncan again, and Murta Ray. Well, Malone Pack certainly taking on Dungannon in Dungannon style and doing reasonably well. Michael Smith right at the bottom of that. Dennis McBride standing at scrum half, and Willie Dunn several miles offside. I don't think Willie Dunn will complain too much about that decision. Wilkinson's made a lot of ground, but he hasn't found his touch. Sanford. And he's made a lot of ground, and he hasn't found his touch. Oh, yes, he has. Derek Henderson on the far side has said that the ball has gone in and the flag is up. The referee has said play on. Morris Field. That's nicely done by Willis. Bill Harbinson going for position. Jeremy Davidson. Stuart Duncan. Nice dummy from the Ulster flank forward. Oh, great running by Duncan. Made terrific ground, good support from McBride. This is wonderful play from the Malone pack. Richard Cullen, Bill Harbinson. There's a the little kick for Scott Carroll to chase, and he's very quick, he's not too far away. Sanford just beats him to it. Well, Scott Carroll was picked for his pace, and you could see why. And Pete Sanford, uh, who's no sludge himself, just had enough in the tank to get there, but it was very well won by Malone. What a pass by Stephen Bell. Lovely transfer, Cullen, and Bill Harbinson, sensing that Scott Carroll had the pace, placed the kick to perfection, and look at Carroll, who really took off. Well, there wasn't too much between them at the end. Peter Sanford has a wee glance, and the last dive made sure he got the touch done. Ashley Blair, naturally left-footed. That's cleverly done, well taken by Patterson. He's run into a few Malone men, but he's released it well. Richie Weir, now to Blair. And there's the glance and there's the kick. That's just done as far as Simon Willis. And Willis has gone right out to the touchline, so there's no room for him. And uh, quick thinking by Ashley Blair has made some 70-odd metres for Dungannon. Simon Willis played on the left wing in the semi-final and uh, is now on the right to the exclusion of Scottish A international Stuart Porter. Dungannon shortened the line. Hastings at the back and Paddy Johns flanked by his two prop forwards. A lot of shoving going on by Malone. And that's a penalty to Dungannon and Ashley Blair might have a crack at the post. Paddy Johns being uh, not too gently eased out of things. Um, Dungannon have another chance to go back into the lead. This would be just the boost that Dungannon would want. That's a better contact, better angle. Up go the flags. Dungannon back in the lead. Dungannon six, Malone three. And we've had 23 minutes gone. Yeah, actually, Blair's every reason to be pleased with this. It was angled just about perfectly. Nicely struck. Paddy Johns. Oh, Jeremy Davidson soared above everyone. And then Gannon may well hold on to this and try to drive over from even closer range. They're staying on their feet. Now they've released it. This is where gets uh, 
just a little bit past Dennis McBride, who put him down with a good tackle. And again, the ball has gone forward, and again, Malone get the put into the scrum. So Dungannon pressing, and we last minute fundamental errors costing them dear. That's collapsed untidily, and this time it's uh, Dungannon penalised for taking it down. Richard Mackey, it seems. A very difficult decision, that, because it's hard to tell just who takes the scrums down. Gary Leslie may well have helped. Well, full marks to Dungannon, with uh, 30 minutes of the first half gone, and leading by six points to three, the first short penalty of the game. The little wall of four players. This is Hugh McCackey, this is Weir, this is Blair. Back inside to Hastings, nice sidestep. He's not too far away, Hastings. They're so close, Weir. If they move this, they must be in. This is Sanford. Oh, great tackle, but he's over, and he's in. Looked as if Simon Willis had stopped him, but Peter Sanford is a very sturdily built man, and no wonder they're applauding. First try of the game, and it goes to Dungannon's Peter Sanford. Well, it was Jeremy Hastings he took it on, and Richie Weir had to check, and Ashley Blair floated the ball very nicely wide. There was a man spare, and uh, if Peter Sanford hadn't got that, I think his colleagues might have said something to him. But he did get it. But initially, it was the work of the pack, and Weir just delayed ever so slightly to get the Malone men in an onside position. Lovely flat pass from Ashley Blair, and Sanford's sheer strength and determination did the rest, and even McBride couldn't stop him. Ashley Blair. That doesn't look too bad for the wrong side of the field for a left-footed kicker right between the posts. 32 minutes gone, Dungannon's lead increases. It's now Dungannon 13 and Malone 3. Didn't make much of an angle for himself, Ashley Blair, so he had to judge that perfectly, and that's just what he did. Jeremy Davidson. Oh, great take. Davy Miller can't quite hold. Johnny Patterson does the tidying. This is Weir. It's rather misdirected. Acrobatic stuff by Morris Field. Here's Cullen. He's got a man outside him. He maybe took the wrong option there. Here's Field. Dennis McBride supporting wonderfully. Running out of room, Morris Field, his Irish international colleague, at his elbow. McBride trying to win the ball on the ground, and he's done just that. Bit of a flourish now from Malone. Colin Wilkinson. Oh, cleverly thought out. That bounced nicely for Carroll, and not too badly done at all. The referee has said the touch judge has got his flag up, and that's going to be a line-out to Dungannon. But uh, a good piece of enterprising counter-attacking by the Malone side. It was very nicely done indeed by Malone, who came well away with it. Morris Field and Dennis McBride both leading the charge, and uh, eventually Dungannon managed to steal it. Hugh McCackey, Paddy John squeezed out of it for once. That's untidy, and only have just made it secure. Richard Mackey, they've all tucked into that uh, burly torso of his. Bell, Cullen, Harvinson, Wilkinson's come into the line. Transfer a little bit awry, referee waiting for advantage to Duncanon. None comes, so they'll have the scrummage. Scott Carroll had cleverly come round from the left wing. Weir, quick strike. Willie Dunn has to tidy it up. And Hastings. Weir again. Angled for the corner for Roger Khan to chase. It's bounced awkwardly, and that's been carried over. Wilkinson. And they got away with it, Malone. Well, cleverly done. And the referee says that that little bit of uh, sleight of hand between Simon Willis and Colin Wilkinson brings the first half to an end. And at halftime at Ravenhill, the score is Dungannon, the holders 13, and Malone very much the challengers 3. A more than interested spectator, as he always is, when Dungannon are playing, and a pretty useful prop forward he was in his day, also Unionist MP, Mr Ken McGuinness. Ashley Blair, his side, 10 points to the good. Sets Dungannon off on what they hope will be the path to a fourth successive cup victory. And straight away, they're in among the Dungannon forwards, or the Malone forwards, I should say. Oh, that's well done by Richard Mackey, immensely strong young prop forward. But it's rather untidy, and Dungannon not far away. Stephen Bell will have to hurry. Bill Harbinson. Now, that is a terrific kick from Harbinson. 
Pete Sanford's all on his own back there. Clever kick. Wilkinson beautifully positioned. Malone on the counter. Look at Wilkinson saying there's a space there. And he's found it. Oh, here comes Scott Carroll against Jeremy Davidson. Down and up goes the big fellow in one movement. Wonderful skills from the current Irish international. To get uh, six feet six and 17 odd stones down and up with the ball in one movement and get the pass away really is uh, forward play of the highest quality. Stuart Duncan takes well. Good driving by the Malone pack. Bell, nice pass to Cullen. Morris Field, Bill Harbinson. Simon Willis had come in from the right wing to the centre. They've still got it there. Bell. Really struggling with that calf muscle strain. And that's going to be a 22 dropout for Dungannon. Ashley Blair. Giving that a bit of height. That's rather unfortunate. Hugh Makaki may just have nudged that forward. And the first knock forward, however, was by Malone. So it's going to be a Dungannon scrummage. We're checking with his half-back partner, Ashley Blair. No delight for a scrum half to work behind such a good platform. This is Blair. Well, Richie Stevens again had come inside, and, and Blair really misread that option, and Dungannon have uh, conceded the penalty. And three points here for Malone, I think, would be most welcome. Wilkinson with the penalty in the first half really needs this one to keep Malone in touch just to close the gap to just seven points solid contact oh off the upright how very unfortunate so 13-3 it remains and uh, almost 10 minutes of the second half gone and Wilkinson will be bitterly disappointed with that a little flurry of wind just carried it wide it was a lovely strike, and he kept his head down nicely, and it looked as if he'd uh, judged it perfectly. And at the last minute, it just faded away, and uh, the thickness of a post prevented three points. Dungannon 13, Malone 3. And that's a free for a crooked put-in by Stephen Bell. Difficult when the scrums are retreating. Richie Weir, Jeremy Davidson, Paddy Johns. Good ground by the Irish international. Weir, Blair, Sanford switching direction. Changing his angle nicely. Plenty of support there. Weir, Blair, Jeremy Hastings. Well taken by Dennis McBride. Then Gannon have it recycled. Johnny Patterson. A lot of striped shirts there. This is McCackie, the skipper. Something tackled by Murtaray, but McCackie has managed to release that. It may well have gone forward. Then Gannon have won that. Blair left-footed off the post three points Ashley Blair does it well this is Wilkinson takes it quickly we've hardly even time to contemplate that uh, Ashley Blair has given Dungannon three more points when Morris Field and Colin Wilkinson contrived to make an awful lot of ground for Malone well a little bit of excitement and the Dungannon pack set it up well and look at Blair had a glance and decided why not the game was worth the candle and uh, the kick was worth the three points off the post Michael Smith Davidson one-handed and then two huge contribution he's made to Dungannon effort this afternoon oh, terrific driving forward play Jeremy Hastings leading it Richie Weir slight fumble Ashley Blair Sanford had uh, come into the line well. Little pop pass that was from Weir, who's there again. Blair, Davidson, trying to get up ahead of steam from a standing start. This is Paddy Johns, who's doing similar. Weir, Davidson, Richie Weir. That Malone defence really stretched, and Gannon driving from close in yet again. 
Gary Leslie, Ulster tight head prop. Hugh Makaki, the skipper's in there as well. The referee is well placed. And still Malone resists, and Gannon trying to churn run on the narrow side. Johnny Patterson going to try in the semi final. Now it's Weir. Half checked. Gary Leslie completely checked. Great tackle by Lawrence Stewart. And the beleaguered Malone backline had encroached in front of the uh, imaginary line behind the rear foot of that mall. And uh, the Gundaran, the Dungannon contingent in the crowd will be well pleased with that. They've taken it quickly. This is nicely moved. There is a definite chance here. Darren blew it. What a tackle by Wilkinson. Man ball and everything. Morris Field is in there as well. And uh, Dungannon, one thinks, not perhaps releasing in that tackle. And that was a very significant tackle by Colin Wilkinson on the former Queen centre, Darren Blewett. Patrick Johns, Dungannon's most capped international. Johnny Patterson. Colin holds him up. Blue and white abound. This is Davidson. That's rather wide. Oh, that's nicely done. Blew it. Out to Cairn. Roger Cairn's got the pace. Morris Field's going to get him. What a thundering tackle by Morris Field. And Colin Wilkinson's tackle was good, but what a gem that was by Morris Field on the, the very speedy Roger Cairn. Well, Blewett made a nice little half gap. And this young fella scored three tries against Collegians, and Morris Field said, not this time. And what a cover by Field. Oh. Makaki. Hastings. That's good driving once again by Dungannon. Richie Weir. Hugh Makaki. Taken by McBride. He's got his body in the way. Well done by Dungannon. Here's Paddy Johns. Davidson. Seems to have recovered well. This is uh, Jeremy Hastings. Johnny Patterson going in to help. Weir winkles it out. Blair. Snap, drop it, go. And right between the posts. He's done it again. A second drop goal in the second half. And with just about 11 minutes remaining, Dungannon really looking to be home and dry. Again, it was all the work by the pack. And no angle whatsoever. He had to dig that out underneath. And uh, right over it went. Four and a half minutes remaining. Big scrum this. And that's a penalty against Lauren Stewart for taking it down on uh, the Dungannon put in. Richie Ware looking for his second successive Senior Cup success. And there's the wall, and there's Makaki. That's the pass. That's Blair. This is Blewett. Needs some help. Patterson and Dunn are there. And Paddy Johns. Ware digs it out. Wilkinson right over the top. Not a third drop goal. Yes, indeed. Well, I really don't remember anybody dropping three goals in a Senior Cup final. As ever, it was the pack who set it up, and Ashley Blair right between the posts. Weir, Blair, Stevens, Sanford in the line, very strong, bunched uh, through Morris Fields tackle up to halfway. Better stuff this from Dungannon. This is Makaki, swept it wide. Roger Cairn, little chip and chase to the youngster. And uh, Wilkinson, somewhat crude, but very, very effective. And uh, when in doubt, kick it out. Now, Richie Weir just uh, did it well. And Hugh Makaki, very well handled. Look at Roger Cairn, that was cleverly done. Got outside Barry Sheridan and Wilkinson, safety first. Winning of this cup is beyond Malone, but they may well have the satisfaction of a try. Morris Field has made a lovely angled run. Here's Field, strong running by Field. Great support from Stuart Duncan. Well, Malone deserved that. That's the best three-quarter movement of the game. And uh, Malone will be more than happy with that. Although the outcome of the game is never really beyond doubt. And it was Morris Field, Irish International, who ran across, straightened up, got inside Roger Cowan, was strong enough to hold off the tackles. And there, Ulster's flank forward, Stuart Duncan, gets Malone's first try of this final. Well, Colin Wilkinson deciding to drop a goal with a conversion. It's a day for drop goals, and he's done it well. So, Dungannon 22, Malone 10. 
and Brian Sterling has decided that that final delightful flourish from Malone will bring them a little bit of comfort but the joy will be Dungannon's and Willie Anderson who lifted the cup in those massive hands some uh, three seasons ago will see it safely back to Stevenson Park final score at Ravenhill in the first trust senior cup final is Dungannon 22 and Malone 10 so for the second time in his distinguished career, Hugh McCackey lifts the senior cup for Dungannon. Mrs. Margaret Coy, wife of Ulster Branch President Rusty Coy, hands it over to the man who won a cup as a player with Ards. And he's now enjoyed the unique distinction of winning a cup for the fourth successive time with the pride of County Tyrone Dungannon. And Hugh McCackey to end his career very much on a high note. It's a nice way to finish. Uh, winning the cup, but that being our fourth in a row, which makes a wee bit of history, so that's something special. Good time to buy it. I thought it was a very comprehensive performance. Uh, it's something we've worked for for the last 12 weeks. It's not just a one-off, one-week job. And uh, all credit to the, 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 the players. Oh, absolute disappointment. We expected to do a little better up front than we actually did. And tremendous play by Dungannon. They're eight were absolutely superb. They denied us any real possession at all in the second half and full credit to them. Uh, they played very, very well in the day. The next year is going to be a very big year. Uh, now that we've achieved the goal of getting up into Division 1, we really want to win Division 1 next year, so it's going to be a lot of hard work in front of us. We set our objectives last June and uh, the, the primary objectives was, was obviously promotion. Uh, the secondary for the first was the Senior Cup and for the seconds, the Junior Cup and the Towns Cup, and we have achieved all the objectives. So uh, from that point of view, it was a immense season. But tonight, uh, true Dungannon celebrations, I'm sure. Well, history is made. You have to celebrate in Stein.